for. All right, and one of the keys, we're, we're getting to it now. Chris talked earlier about the reality that quarterbacks aren't hit a lot until the season starts. That was all part of the explanation that Tua gave yesterday as he goes through jujitsu training aimed at better equipping him with an ability to fall and not strike his helmet against the turf. Here he is. Hey, Tua, uh, what's your current belt ranking in your jujitsu? Still a white belt. I'm still a white belt. I just started. I mean, we used like crash pads to, to land on first with trying to fall. Obviously, with tucking your chin, that, that, was, that was one of the, the deals. But it, it went a lot more into the technique of, of how to disperse your energy when you fall. If you have a split second to think, I mean, how, how does that work? Because if you're being sacked, how does that work? Well, I've been falling a lot um, this offseason, so I think – just like anything else, you continue to train it, you continue to work at that, you know, it becomes second nature. Then you, you know, when, when a situation like that does happen, uh, you know, it's not something new that's presented to you. And for, you know, guys at my position, you know, we, we barely get hit, if, if that, throughout practices, um, throughout the off season, uh, even going into training camp. I mean, we don't even get touched, you know, until um, the season starts. So. I mean, you know, with with jujitsu, I've been I've been thrown airborne. I've been <laughs> I've been put in uh, many uncomfortable positions, you know, for for me to learn how to fall and try to, um, you know, react throughout those those positions that I'm getting uh, thrown around in. This reminds me a lot of conversations we've ha had in, in years past on getting quarterbacks to slide. Mark Sanchez didn't know how to slide. They brought in a baseball expert to teach him how to slide. Mike Vick didn't know how to slide. He'd dive head first. He wouldn't mm -hmm. slide. I, I hope this works for Tua. And we played the video earlier, the three occasions this year, at least two of them, the Bills game, the Bengals game, if we can roll that as we're talking about this, here's what I'm curious about. Mm -hmm. How is any amount of jujitsu training going to keep this from happening? This shove. When he gets shoved like that, completely legitimate and legal, not roughing the passer, but when he gets that shove... Well, that's just his ankle on his back, his Mike. That's not, training. not his head. His I know, but back. watch watch the shove. Watch I the know. shove there. Yeah, that right. shove. What what about your jujitsu training is going to keep you in that moment, in that split second? Oh, he did get flagged, by the way. But what's going to keep you from hitting the ground? Watch this one here. There isn't a damn thing that he could do about that. And that one was not flagged. He's just being tackled. Now, this gets back to, can you put weight on his body? Can you get him in a position where the physics are not lined up against him? That's really the question. And he said he's doing some work on strengthening his neck. Yep. I, I I just don't I I hope it works, but it may just be he's not big enough, regardless of whatever extra training you have. And it, again, good luck implementing it in real time in the middle of your NFL career. I don't think it's quite as easy as people believe. But even then, how is that going to translate those three instances we just saw? How is that going to keep his head from hitting the turf? I, and and maybe maybe it will. Maybe it will. That's going to be one of the big questions that hovers over the entire 2023 NFL season and every time the Dolphins play, especially when they play in a standalone primetime. Yeah, it, it, you know, again, it, it's you're right. I mean, you said right. The, the physics aren't against them. This is some. I mean, are, are with them. This is something that, yeah, a smaller guy getting whipped around is definitely more susceptible to, right? We talked about that last year. You never see Mahomes or Josh Allen get tackled like that. That doesn't happen, right? They're just they're too big of humans. But, you know, one – I could say this, and this is probably part of why football players are also ultra confident in a lot of ways. The, the things you can think of and what you learn about yourself and the things you can think and see in a hundredth of a second is those are things you learn about yourself in the NFL or, or you think, see, react, whatever you, you learn and you go, Oh my gosh, I, I don't, you know, the next day you'll watch film. And go, I don't even know how I did that coach. I was kind of on the way down about to throw the ball and I saw the guy's eyes look this way. So 
I threw it that way just at the last second. I don't know how I did it, coach. And you can have thoughts like that. Even in the process of, wait, I'm about to get hit here, right? And as I'm getting hit, that in that, oh, wait, I learned, tuck my chin and just go with it instead of fight it. You can have those type of thoughts. And hopefully he can condition himself within the physical nature of it and the mental nature of it to have that thought and protect himself in a way to where – you know, he, he doesn't have that whiplash into the ground. We'll see. Like you said, it. You know, we got to all see it. I think to believe it. But there is an art to falling, and you know, there there is something to that. I, I think Brady is, you know, a guy that's mastered it, and Tua is someone that's yeah, got to figure it out here. And we'll see if this jujitsu helps him out a little bit. Well, and Brady's six five. I mean, that's what yeah, we've always talked too. about. You right. don't see the large prototypical quarterback hit the ground that way no you don't see that happen you don't see that whiplash you don't see the head strike against the turf so maybe this combination of neck exercises and jujitsu will help and I get the impression that he just he'd like to have more opportunities to practice it yeah. in a setting where right you know you're not hitting a a pad there, right. there really is a risk that you're going to strike your head against something can I in that moment tuck my chin can I keep my head from hitting the turf am I going to process that those are all things that just add to his overall mental stress when it's time to go play on top of everything else he has to do and and that, that's a, a real angle Chris you're talking about the things that can be processed in real time from a team standpoint you'd rather the guy be focused on finding that guy who's open who wasn't open and getting rid of the football not I have to figure out how to properly duck and cover so I don't emerge from this interaction with a defender with a head injury. Yeah. Again, most quarterbacks don't have that issue. But if Tua is going to be successful in the NFL, this is a change he has to make. If he's going to be able to play, he has to do this. If the Dolphins are going to be able to rely on him as their starting quarterback beyond this year, it's just something that has to happen. Yeah, it is. We know that. It's, it's, we've been, you know, we're hopeful for him. The Dolphins are fun to watch with him at quarterback. No doubt about that, and <clears throat> I hope he can make the right adjustments here and, and be healthy and, and play and, you know, enjoy his career and have his family enjoy his career. I certainly, you know, I'm rooting for him in, in that aspect 100%. Uh, but, yeah, that's a big question mark, and you're right. It's one we got to we gotta kind of see in action to start to believe it and go, okay, wait, uh, the improvement's real. There's something to it there, you know. And even with those two, he's got to stop fighting it. That's the one thing that I always noticed with him. Like, don't fight the fall, right? That's something I learned from my dad early on playing quarterback. Don't fight the fall. Just go with the fall. It does, does you no good on the way down to be like, oh, let me, like, let me just try to fight it and stay up. No, you go, you're getting hit this way. Just let it go and let it fly that way, right? And I think some of that is a, an issue with him too. Even with the Cincinnati play, he's still fighting it as he's being whipped down. No, at some point you got to have a feel to go, I'm not going to overcome this. I need to just go with this big dude that's throwing me this way and lessen the force on my body. And uh, I think that's you know part of this jujitsu magic that he's talking about. We saw it in action in Phoenix. We saw <laughs> yeah. how you screw have screw you guys, screw you guys. With the fall. <laughs> I set myself up here. I'm hoping if I say it enough, <laughs> oh, times, I thought they already got in your we'll ear and it. set it up. No, we've got to go to break. No, it's been no. a long first segment. Let's get going here. No. <laughs> But the whole idea of going with the fall is why you weren't injured when you were standing on the edge of the stage. Right. And under the weight of your giant what shoe. What a filibuster you are here. Something broke. Yeah. And you <laughs> fell down onto the ground and you rolled. See? And you almost kicked someone in the head. Whoa. <laughs> but he went with the fall. Yeah, at some point, like right there, I just said, I'm going down, so I got to take it. You just got to go, right? There was a part of me that was like, wait, I'm going to fight this right here. And then I went, oh, no, I'm going down, so I got to go with it. And then you just roll into it, you know? So, hey, Tua, watch that video. Take some notes, right? That might have been right around the time when he – he uh, screwed us over and didn't come and do the interview with us. <laughs> so, uh, so I don't know. I'm just having fun either way. <laughs> Pete points out. Pete, Pete points out that I was actually smiling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you uh, were. Yeah, you look. I you, wasn't. Look at you. Look at a little smirk on your face. Oh, look, the big doofus smell. <laughs> 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 I, 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 it all happened. 
it all happened so fast. I was like, what's going on? And if you keep playing the video, you'll see that my main concern was I needed a water. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, he's okay. Yeah, he didn't uh, break his yeah, head. Yep, water. okay, fine. Yeah. All right, where's my water? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> now, that it's 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 clipped there, thankfully. It doesn't show me being completely uncaring and, and only worrying about getting a little water. I knew you were fine. Hey, you've been through worse. I have. You couldn't have lost your spleen again. That's right. Can't have to worry about that. Yep, I'm Not all gonna good. lose that a second time. <laughs> Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.